Seven. That's the number of times I travelled around the world as chairman of YPO back in 2009. Yet, the number of flights is not interesting. What is interesting is the countless number of trusted and intimate conversations I had with members and their families throughout the world. When I look back on that period, I realise it was a really unique opportunity to look into the soul of our organisation and to see a global community of CEOs emerging. I also started to look for what's the story that sits underneath all of these conversations. My sense is there has to be a story because the dramas of the member and his or her family in Beijing, Sao Paulo, Dallas, London, all of these dramas are playing out in the interconnected web of our times. And I want to share two observations with you. The first observation is one most of us appreciate, that we are becoming more world-centric in the way we think and behave. Now, of course, that is coloured by the culture and countries from which we've emerged, yet within which we are no longer submerged. And I guess it's pretty hard to be world-centric in your outlook if you are still submerged in your own country and culture of origin. So let's go on to the second observation, which is that members seem to be holding some anxiety about the likely environmental and social inheritance of their children and grandchildren. And they seem perplexed on what they can do about that now and in coming years, yet they know they surely must do something about it. My lesson from this is that we should simply ensure that what we do feeds and nourishes who we are. And when I talk about who we are, I mean, what do I stand for? What are my passions? What are my areas of unique expertise? So if we look in that metaphorical mirror and each of us see a gap between who we are and what we do, then we should find the courage to go on a journey and fix it. And that takes me back to YPO. Because I think YPO is a cooler and wiser organisation and opportunity than most of us realise. It's a safe place. It's a global community. And it can present us with an infinite number of experiences, new ways of thinking, new ways of doing, and even new ways of being. So, as we become more world-centric, as we find this harmony between who we are and what we do, it will unlock a whole wave of energy and actions that will make a big difference on our world. Enjoy.